My name is Lincoln Savvy, and I'm a Master's of Science student at the University of Windsor, and I make 3D printed animals. It all started with this yellow toad here. Um, I saw them in the wild, and we'd used models of yellow toads in the lab in the past that weren't very good, so I decided to make a better one. And once I did, the results were, uh, everybody here was pretty astounded by the results, so I started to see what else I could make. and. Uh, then came this sturgeon. I made it as a commission for another student, and um, since then decided to make a business out of it. Well, I've gotten interest already uh, to make these models from people in the States and in Ontario, um, just from t tweets that my supervisor put out on the internet. Um, they were like his second most popular tweets that he's ever gotten, were videos of these things moving around with the robo-toad mechanism attached to the bottom. And then people want to use them for both science and just because they're a cool thing to display. We're using them for color studies to study how or why the toads turn yellow and what different yellows might mean to other toads. Um, but there's a lot of possibilities of what you could do with them. Somebody had an idea to um, to study humans' behavior of avoiding turtles on the road by putting 3D printed turtles on the road and seeing if, if they get run over or not, and then you're not putting turtles in danger. You can use them for catching birds. Um, we use nets that the birds fly into, and if they saw um, animals that have the same species of them, they might be more trusting of the area before they get caught in a net. Once scientists and people are aware that it's possible to make things like these, they'll come up with more ideas of ways to apply it.